What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Full Throttle Auto in another video. Today we are going to go ahead and work on my Honda. Let's get right into the video. This is my 2014 Honda Accord LX. This model comes with the K-Series 4-cylinder 2.4-liter engine. My particular car is equipped with the 6-speed manual transmission. The one main problem I have with these cars is that they are really quiet. And so to remedy this, I am going to be installing an intake system from AFE Power. The system I'm going with is their Stage 2 short ram intake, part number tr 1019B. Of course, along with changing the sound of the engine, I am hoping that we will be gaining some horsepower. According to their website, it is claiming that this will provide you with a 9 horsepower and 9 pound-feet of torque gain. But before we start installing the intake, let's take a look at how the car sounds stock. All right, so first off, the things you get, I went with the black powder coated version of this intake. You can also get it polished. You get two filters, one that's oil, um, oil cleaned or oil used, and one that's dry based that you can just clean with water. You get, of course, your grommets for the metal piece that's gonna be blocking off the heat from the intake, and then also as well some tubing. You do, of course, get your, uh, what is it, like a coupler and then clamps as well. So you get everything that you need. Now, the only thing the instructions do not say is what tools you need. But for me, I have a very basic tool kit here that is, you know, just your basic craftsman socket set. And then, of course, you have your screwdriver as well that has interchangeable tips. And really, that's all you're going to need. You're most likely going to use a, a 10 or 11 or maybe a 12 socket and maybe the screwdriver. All right, now that we have that all out of the way, first let's start out with disconnecting the vacuum lines from the intake and unplug the mass airflow sensor. Then go ahead and loosen the clamps holding down the stock piping and intake box and remove it all from the engine. Now for this, you will keep in the cold air part of the stock intake, so that is not coming out. Then you will remove the small engine cover to get to the coolant holes. You are going to want to remove the coolant and vacuum holes from the engine. These hoses will not be reused, however, you will reuse the clamps from the coolant hose only. Make sure that the car is cooled off before removing the coolant hose so there is no blowback from it. Once the coolant hose is fully removed, go ahead and put in the new supplied hose with the reused clamps onto the car and put the mini engine cover back on. Once all this is done, go ahead and install the isolation mount and put in the new housing for the new intake system. Once that is done, go ahead and get your new intake piping and put it together. You will put the mass airflow sensor in and of course your choice of the two filters that you get. I went with the non-oil base or otherwise known as the dry filter. Once that is done, go ahead and put the silicone coupling on the throttle body with the clamps. Then go ahead and start putting in the new intake into the coupling and tighten it all down. Once that is done, make sure that the new vacuum hose is connected to the intake and the engine. And do not forget to plug in the mass airflow sensor. Once that is all done, go back into the car and start it up. Let it idle and see if the check engine lights are on. If not, you're all set. Now let's go ahead and see at how it sounds with the new intake.
that's it for the installation and for the actual sound of the car now as for did i gain any power well, obviously we can't tell that because we don't have a dyno nor do we have access to a shop with a dyno and dynos are not cheap so with my own special rear dyno it's a very very precise tool uh, it's very specific to my rear i can uh, safely tell you that there seems to be a zero uh, gain maybe a half a horsepower or torque now of course the car and the intake would benefit from a tune we are going to look into that maybe further down the line now, of course this is daily driver the main thing as i said i wanted to do was change the noise there was no noise previously it was barely anything was noticeable while driving the car and so it kind of takes away with that connection with the car so for now i'm absolutely 100 percent happy with the noise and we'll see for power gains later down the road and that's it for this video as always if you've enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button if you didn't hit the dislike let me know why make sure to hit the subscribe for future videos and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you